On the panel this week, writer and Fox News contributor Judy Miller, syndicated columnist Cal Thomas, Jim Pinkerton, fellow New America Foundation, and Newsday columnist Ellis Hennigan. I'm John Scott. Fox News Watch is on right now. This story, Judy, has gotten, you might call it, the full Monty of <laughs> media coverage. Uh, the, the, the network morning shows, the front page of the New York Times. Has the media overdone it, do you think? No, I don't think the media have overdone it for once because I think here in this issue you have a genuine kind of debate. We should be having one, and we are having one, about the trade-off between safety and individual rights and liberties. And it's true that like 99% of the people, as John Pistoli said on his website, TSA, Su subject themselves to this and there's no problem and only 3% of people are patted down, but they rolled this thing out in such a bad manner that, sure, the media should be looking at it. Well, it seems like how the media is taking sides. Well, of course, the media always takes sides, but look the kind of sides they're taking. Under the Bush administration that forced through Congress the Patriot Act, the left, and especially the media, using uh, them as a mouthpiece, were in an uproar about this. This was undermining our constitutional rights, our personal freedoms, our individual liberties, and this was only about intercepting phone calls that, was, that were coming from either known terrorists or places that harbored terrorists. Now that the Obama administration is uh, behind a lot of this groping and pat-down business and, and full-body x-rays, uh, all of a sudden it's not that big a deal for the media. Yeah, Newsbusters, Ellis, had a, had a pretty interesting take on that, comparing what happened when the Patriot Act came out and the you know en uh, enhanced electronic surveillance and so forth. The media was all in an uproar about that. Uh, but it was under the Bush administration. Is well, there a double standard? Well, I, I'm not so focused on the double standard. I, listen, I love the debate, the serious debate that Judy posited a moment ago <laughs> about liberty versus safety. But you know what? We're not anywhere near that in this media <laughs> debate. We're talking about naked pictures versus uh, Cal being groped at the <laughs> airport, a thought that I would rather not focus yeah, I, on. I, I, <laughs> neither would I, thank you. But, I'd probably take but, the train as but, often but as I can. But we ought to realize that a big part of this debate, yeah, there's some concern. There's some nervous folks like Cal. <laughs> but but there really is something out there that says that most people understand that this is ginned up to some extent. This is an Obama, anti-Obama hit revving up folks on safety and something that we've never objected to before. Anti-Obama media coverage? Uh, I don't see a whole lot, a lot of that, but at least blaming him. But listen, let's just start over again. I'm fearful about this, partly because I see the real face of the U.S. government here. The Washington Post reported last week that, uh, that, that a guy had had an idea for a scanner that wouldn't show the picture of you, just like a, like a stick figure, a ver avatar version of you, four years ago. And the TSA wasn't interested. They, they wanted these pictures with this humiliation, the sexual gratification thing going on here. And so I associate myself to, 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 to alleviate Ellis's concerns that nobody's serious about this thing with Dr. Keith Ablo, who is a columnist for Fox News Opinion here on, this, on this, the website of this channel. And he said, look, this is a dry run for totalitarianism. This is the oh, government yeah. deliberately yeah. Yeah. trying yeah. to stretch yeah. us out, yep. see yep. what we've got going. And I think it's, his point is, and I agree with him, it's only the beginning. Judy, you don't agree? Well, I think what's interesting about this is that the commentary has been, it's united the left and the right. I mean, what's really interesting is that you get conservatives like Charles Krauthammer uh, siding with James Fallows, who said, pigs fly, we agree. You know, this is, this is something that needs to be discussed. Bruce Hoffman, a very, very pro-security guy at Georgetown, he who says, where does this end? Next, I think we are having Next thing you know, thing. Ellis and, yeah. and, and Cal are going to be yeah. agreeing. <laughs> <on>. <laughs> well, don't don't <laughs> hold your breath on that. <laughs> but listen, listen, if we could get to the debate, that serious mm. uh, values debate, that would be terrific, but we're nowhere near that. We're just we're still <laughs> no. snickering about it. No, Ellis, look, it depends on what you read well, or we, watch. We have, look, most of it has been you look, choose. Look, naked pictures look, or no, full no, no, body no. growth. Look, the media knows what <laughs> needs to be done, and what needs to be done is profiling. We had on this network uh, over the last uh, weekend or two ago, the former head of El Al Security, the safest airline in the world. I've flown El Al many times. They do profiling. I'm not talking about racial profiling or ethnic profiling. They ask the right questions. 
they ask you things like your zip code, your area code, your mother's maiden name, all this kind of stuff, and if you, or why are you going to Israel? And they have ways of finding out who the real threats are. We don't do any of that because there's so many groups that are going to sue. And our Secretary of State was asked a question on one of the TV shows. Would she submit to a pat-down? Here's what she had to say. Would you submit to one of these pat-downs? Not, not if I could avoid it. <laughs> no, I mean, who would? <laughs> the beginning of a two-tier system. Mm -hmm. The elite who can afford their own private planes or have political pull, get it. The rest of us mm -hmm. don't get the whole full growth, and that's the beginning of a scary system of two tiers. Members of Congress don't have to go through this. Nope. Isn't that correct? Yeah, they should be sent through twice. Th they yeah. don't have to go through it if they're accompanied by guards. It only applies to the leadership. Yeah, However, they'll, they'll all have guards. Ha they'll well, no, it's guards. worse than that. Half of them are millionaires, and they can afford to fly privately, and they don't have to go through any of this, and nor and does anyone who flies and privately. And those of us who grew up in big families, frankly, we're used to far worse than being yeah. in D.C. Well, I'll be, glad right. I'll be glad when Nancy Pelosi gets off the government <laughs> uh, jet. I want to see her groped at Reagan National Airport. <laughs>